What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? You might have noticed a little bit more enthusiasm in Luna Classic over the last couple of days. You might be asking yourself why. It's escaped us a little bit about all of the ins and outs that have created this pump. Now, we look around and we know that Ceramic has been working on a repeg proposal. And will it be something that we want to do? I don't know the answer to that, in fact. But what I do know is there are things that have been happening that are starting to push this project forward and more into the public eye. And that, of course, will lead to bigger price action, which, of course, will lead to bigger burns, which, of course, it becomes a snowball effect. And we still have USTC sitting in Terraform Labs wallet. We still have Luna Classic sitting in some Terraform Lab wallets that hasn't been burned yet. So... Um, make sure you hit the like button on the way in, and uh, let's check some of this out. All right, first of all, uh, if you noticed any kind of uh, uh, excitement that seems to be permeating, one of them is this. BTCC has now listed Luna Classic and USTC perpetual futures, meaning we get a nice little uh, new trading opportunity and a new place in order for people to start trading that is not Binance, which is a big deal because that gives us more opportunity overall. Also, somebody brought up a discussion that was had recently um, reminding people that in 2022, CZ Binance said, hey, if anything should ever uh, happen and you guys need me, I will be right there for Luna Classic. We will always be here to support the community any way we can. Now, um, this guy is saying a few weeks ago when discussing this, one stated that CZ once offered help to Luna Classic. No, he didn't. That's not true. What's true is Binance offered help. So uh, this is somebody will, you know, um, it, but if we read through here, here, um, where the team took accountability, had a plan, and we were communicating with us properly, and we helped. This is a sharp contrast. So I'm very disappointed with how this USTC Luna incident was handled uh, by the Terra team. Um, you know, he's had his problems through all of it. So I'm not sure what we're looking for here, but you can go look on Commonwealth and check out the proposal, see what that has to, to, to read. Uh, is it about getting Binance more involved? They're already deeply involved doing burns every month. I'm not sure what we're looking for, um, uh, you know, so we'll see. Uh, but uh, I think what he's really ultimately saying here is um, it's on a tier, uh, uh, an L2 level for Terraport, Jurish, Lunk Dash, places like that. So um, read through this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also for meme coins, uh, let me know, do you have any meme coins? Uh, and if you do, which ones do you have? Put that in the, the, the comments down below as well. It'd be interesting to see who has what. Hamster meme, by the way, up 24% today. Uh, the rest of them just kind of in range. Food, you know, had a little bit of a pump. Everything else just kind of, you know, the, the market's looking for reasons to dump. We're still in disbelief phase, so we're not in uh, that that banana zone. We're, we're getting closer and closer and closer. We just haven't really hit it yet. Um, Bitcoin, sure. The rest of the market, not yet. Also looking like the BLV Labs community spend proposal is not going to pass a lot of negativity on it so far. Again, I would encourage you to come read this, decide for yourself. And then if somebody's voting that you validate with that is not voting the way that you want, then change your validator to somebody else who is more supportive of your uh, needs or wants in the communities. Now, of course, we're all here for price action. We want to know what is going on with the price. So let's talk about it just a little bit. Uh, you can see that we're up about a half a percent on the day. Uh, wicked up here into uh, a couple days ago into that uh, 3013 range. Got really hot, overheated, uh, started to make that big pump. Of course, we're going to have some retracement. If you look at it from, again, the impulse move uh, perspective here, right there, you came right down into the golden zone. And now it looks like it's about to pump out of that which would mean 13 is coming again, and then we're going to have a breakout, and that breakout eventually ends up um, it, consolidating most likely in that golden zone range. That's from the last big pop to the last big drop. So um, I would suspect that we're going to see something um, uh, something in the neighborhood of a, a, a nice big move coming very, very soon. So uh, keep yourself in tune for that. That's going to be, what is this percentage? About a 75% move overall. So... Um, don't get discouraged because it's about to happen. Now, good things here. Volume still a bit over 67 million. When we check out markets, you can see right here, it's still mostly Binance, but that lead, that 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 incredible lead, no longer so big uh, because BTCC and their uh, spot trading has taken over the number one spot. So 
Um, it's very possible that, you know, this Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now, listen, guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stayed close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X. We're getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clint, Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. Ends up being a pretty good thing. Now, confidence level. Uh, the, the confidence level there is kind of moderate with this. So uh, let's zoom down here. Um, we're not sure. We think. So um, interesting stuff going on here. BTCC taking over as the number one exchange. Um, will Binance do something about it? I don't know. USTC, $20 million in volume, down big over the last couple of days. Also, uh, you know, until we get a clear understanding of what's going on, we don't know what's going to happen here. So, um, you know, we had a pump. We will get a surge to about six, six and a half cents. Just a little patience on that one, and you'll see it break out. Now, Cookie has uh, done something. We're preparing a nice visual for the Lunk community, explaining the Lunk Cookie's golden master plan. If you have any more questions, please ask. But what you're seeing right here is a gold-pegged stablecoin, AI-driven stability with Cookie, PAXG liquidity, and Layer 2 Lunk collateral. Uh, gold-pegged stablecoin is what they're looking to do. And um, this is the explanation. I would encourage you to go look this up uh, and check it out. This white paper introduces a gold-pegged stablecoin primarily backed by PAX Gold, implemented by a Cookie Meme token and Layer 2 Lunk asset as collateral, utilizing AI-driven stabilization, the system ensures peg maintenance via dynamic collateral adjustment and arbitrage strategy. The cookie, I would look at pull of 1% trading fee and optional layer two collateral uh, enhance resilience, blending stability with asset diversification. Uh, so go read that. Decide for yourself if this is the play for you or this is the move for you. Uh, and there's a full breakdown of exactly what it does, how it works. And, you know, perhaps at that point, um, if we can agree on it and we like it, then this is just another feather in the Luna Classic cap, if you will. Remember, as we said before, 1.8 billion still sitting in LFG, 290 million still sitting in Terraform Labs. Uh, if that's not the case, Happy Caddy Crypto is wrong. Uh, now, I do think the LFG, we know that one at that point. But the Terraform Labs, 290 million right there, for some reason still not burned. Very interesting that we're still waiting for that to happen. Also, uh, coming over here, we still have some unnamed wallets over here. I've got to think that some of these bigger wallets have to be part of Terraform Labs in some way. So we'll see whether or not uh, that that plays out. But I would suspect we're going to see some more burns coming very, very soon. We're at $353 million over the last seven days. Again, if we're over $300 million, we're in pretty decent shape uh, overall. So uh, not, not huge, but good. And if we can keep that burn rate high, by the way, um, if you're if you're not already there, I do have a link to weeks down in the description below. If you want to do some futures trading, uh, go long on um, on Luna Classic right now. Weeks would be the place to do it. Supplies are showing 71 million being burned so far today. 96 million being burned two days ago on the 16th. That was Saturday. So uh, there's some big numbers happening out here. Um, that's a pretty good sign, by the way. Terra Casino, guys, if you are if you haven't already, sign up for Terra Casino today. You can win up to 2 million, a piece, a portion of 2 million euros through December 22nd. Uh, big stuff going on over here. Uh, you can also 
play the Rich Wild and the Pearl of Vishnu is available. Sponsored by Terra Casino and brought to you by Play and Go. Certainly go check that one out today. Terraport Classic, where you go to trade your meme coins. Uh, here we have, I'm still in here for another few days. Uh, I now have on my launch pad an average of 8,917 Terra. Uh, suddenly going very, very slow, I think. So um, maybe we'll buy some today and we'll try to fix that little problem. Uh, but we're, we're holding 10,800 roughly at this point. Uh, just kind of waiting for it to average itself out. So... Um, if you haven't already, or if you have to at least uh, 10,000 Terra, then you should be farming Selenium, the new synthetics platform. Now, Garuda DeFi is launching a new coin, so uh, it's important for you guys to know what that is. Let's talk about it. Here is the white paper. It's going to be called GDEX. The GDEX is a governance and investment token for Garuda DeFi designed to ensure the holders are directly involved in the Garuda decentralized exchange platform development and future. So what we're really talking about is that Garuda is about to have a DEX available for us in the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, it plays a significant role in the ecosystem by up with the upcoming Garuda DEX, offering more than just voting rights, gives you profit sharing tokens, governance and liquidity providers uh, get 20% of their investment in Garuda X tokens and GDEX. So, um, I would encourage you, uh, I'm going to put a link uh, on, uh, there'll be a link somewhere. So if you want to check all of these out, you can certainly go uh, check them out. Garuda X, one of the partners over here, not an affiliate for the channel, but certainly one of the people that I want to keep you informed about because they're building in the Luna Classic ecosystem. And it's important that if we want this thing to grow and we want a vibrant community, that we engage with other companies that are part of this ecosystem, Garuda X being one of those. Uh, you can go to Big Bang, you can go to any one of those different places you're dealing with Garuda X. So um, if you are interested, certainly go check it out. I'll put a link down below. And remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right, guys. I want you to be understand, I think Luna Classic about ready for that next big move into that 16 to 18 sort of level, a little consolidation there. And then we're going to get a real breakout coming very, very soon. But don't take my word for it. I've just never been wrong.